Welcome everyone to Gamer Mill. Today I've got some incredible news coming from the tech world. I mean, we're talking stuff that's almost too good to be true. It's so big that I'm not even having a sponsor or anything, so let's just get right into it. The first story comes from WCCF Tech, an always reliable source for leaks who got their hands on presentation slides from an underground Intel event called XE Unleashed. In it, we have one of the best leaks of all time. Intel has figured it out. True multi-GPU support. We're talking multi-chip modules acting as one GPU. See, many people may have been wondering why chip makers just don't make chips bigger. I mean, if we can't make transistors smaller, why not make the chips themselves bigger? Well, the issue mostly comes down to yields. The bigger a die is, the higher chance you'll get defects in the chip. There becomes a point where the printed circuit is so large you'll have such low yields that you just can't make money off of it. That's where MCMs or multi-chip modules come into play. And what's great about Intel's approach is that developers don't need to lift a finger to support it. It all comes together with Intel's new architecture and a software layer called One API to put it all together. And all of this is actually what the E in Intel's upcoming XE GPU is for. It gets replaced by a number that stands for how many modules that particular GPU has. And Intel plans on having up to 8 modules on one die by 2023. Not only that, but they're set to release on June 31st of next year. Let's just say that AMD and Nvidia are in some serious trouble. Next up, Nvidia is releasing a, get this, holographic virtual assistant powered by Nvidia's AI know-how. It's called Ron, and this is a virtual assistant for gamers. We're talking it's capable of analyzing your game and helping you figure out exactly what to do. For example, you can see it going over the best places to land in Apex Legends based on your history of wins and losses. Brilliant! Especially when every gamer gets one and it nullifies itself. Not only that, but it can help save you from a ban by translating what you're saying while you're mad. Oh, and if that's not enough, let's talk a different approach. Sick of losing arguments online? Don't worry. Ron can analyze your conversation and do what it takes to win. Basically, it's a gamer's dream. Next up is something I usually wouldn't cover, but I think it's what we've all wanted. In a video shared by T-Mobile featuring their CEO, you can see he's having some serious issues talking on the phone. What with them being on T-Mobile and all? I, I kid, I kid, I actually have T-Mobile and can't complain, not a sponsor. Anyway, all the noise is seriously getting annoying. So what does he do? He gets in one of T-Mobile's new phone booth E, so he can talk on his cell phone in peace. And I'll have to agree with the video here. This is groundbreaking, amazing, and incredible. I mean, it's soundproof, and as the CEO says, You know it's real, because we tacked an E on the end of the name. You can even plug your phone into their huge screen to use Magenta Pages, the app everyone uses. Of course, it's T-Mobile only, so you'll need your phone to open the booth. All I can say is thank you. So while that does it for today, if you couldn't gather by my subtle clues here and there, all of these stories are official in that they officially come from who I said, but they're April Fool's jokes. Specifically ones that I thought were pretty funny, if not actually interesting. Believe it or not, the WCCF Tech one almost got me because it's still the 31st where I'm at, but alas, it too is fake. Either way, let me know what your favorite April Fool's joke has been down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.